you guys have been sold a bit of a lie. Starting a glamping business is not easy. Starting a glamping business will not make you rich quickly. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how glamping is a lie and why some of my videos are very negative. Now, if you look down to the comment section below, I respond to pretty much every comment I ever get and I read every one of them. And I got this comment recently. Why do all of your videos lead with negativity? You can do better, brother. Now, I normally don't respond to comments like this. I just let people think what they want to think. But he also left this comment. I appreciate giving a different perspective, but I don't know if I'm taking advice from a fella in a Von Dutch hat. So I kind of took that personally. So here's the thing. A lot of people online are trying to make you guys think starting a glamping business, an Airbnb business, a short-term rental business is much easier than it really is. Now, if they trick you in this manner, you'll get the ball rolling. And once you get the ball rolling, you kind of can't stop it. Unfortunately, I have people that have reached out to me because they bought the wrong piece of land, the wrong equipment, or whatever the case may be, and they're kind of stuck in this hole. So they're trying to push through and make it happen. I honestly think the reason that is, is because you guys have been sold a bit of a lie. Starting a glamping business is not easy. Starting a glamping business will not make you rich quickly. When you look up glamping, you see a whole lot of this. When in reality, starting a glamping business looks way more like this. And that simple truth is why Keep It Tiny was started. I realized that there was a lot of people romanticizing starting a glamping business, A-frames, cabins, tents, domes, and no one, I mean no one on the internet was keeping it real and saying, hey, these things are great but they also can really suck sometimes. So one thing I'll always do is keep it real with you guys. If you wanna know the truth about starting a glamping business and what's really going on out there, how to actually do this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. I post videos once a week on this topic. There I go again, sounding super negative. Well, let's look into this a little bit more. Let's check out one of my videos that's getting a pretty good amount of views. It's called A-Frames Are Stupid. And in this video, I'm really doing a satire where I nitpick all of the things about my A-Frame that I find absolutely annoying or that I'm not happy about. Now, the reason I do that is because when I look up A-Frames on YouTube, all I see is these magical triangles that look amazing, they look super easy to build, it's a ton of fun, etc. Hey, maybe I even sold you guys on that with one of my other videos. So my goal, in that video and with Keep It Tiny is to give you guys both sides of the coin. I wanna give you the good with the bad. A ton of people have left me comments on that video saying, hey, I didn't think about that. Thanks for letting me know. And that's the goal is to get you guys critically thinking about everything that could happen. Cause I know when most people get very excited, they get very dumb as well. So I want you to be thinking about everything that could possibly occur. And if no one else is gonna keep it real with you, Keep It Tiny will. But the fun part about me being so negative is, if you look at the full title of that video, I show that I actually love my A-frame. The full title of the video is, A-frames are stupid, a rant and review from a happy A-frame owner. But no one ever looks at that. Let's sensationalize things and let's have some fun. Am I telling you not to start a glamping business? No, I already did that in a whole other video. But on the flip side of that, my mission on my YouTube channel is to make people truly believe that they can start their own glamping businesses. So how do these two things live in the same world? I don't want you to fail. I want you to start a successful glamping business with a great ROI. I don't want you to get caught up and just start something immediately that doesn't work for you. So take your time, do your research and continue to learn. I'm not going anywhere. These videos are gonna keep dropping every week. There's four videos on the screen right now. Check one of them out, keep doing your research, keep learning this stuff. Because if you think you can start a glamping business, I know you can start a glamping business.